On March 31st, 2012, this man showed up at my door with a yellow rose for our first date. The reason I had to go on this first date was because I lost a bet in band for winning a playing test. Little did I know on that first date how many adventures we would have and that in just a few days later you would ask me to be your princess. Since then we've had even more shenanigans in band and with our friends and you've celebrated more birthdays with me and we just became so much closer our last couple of years of high school. I think early on people even saw us as something special before we even quite realized it because our senior year when we went to prom an old couple actually paid for our meal at Steak and Shake. The last couple years I've gotten really close to your little sister and your Papa Kent. And you've taken me on numerous fun dates and you put up with me dressing you up in silly costumes so that I can have fun and just be myself. I don't think a day goes by that I'm with you where I'm not laughing or smiling and you're not pulling some little funny stunt just to get me to laugh. I'm thankful for your willingness to try new things like painting on my 21st birthday even though you've never really done that before and through graduating high school and being there at my college graduation and me being there for you whenever you have had your successes as well. I'm so glad to be there by your side. I've also taken a couple of trips with you and your family and we've gone, gotten so much closer and we had so much fun. I love your family so much. They make me laugh and we have so much fun together and even when the road gets bumpy, they are always there for us. I also love you because you do things like drive an hour out of your way to a sunflower patch just to make me smile because you know they're my favorite flower and I know that you would do absolutely anything in the world now just to put a smile on my face or to get me to laugh. And I love you so, so much for that. I've also seen you to be the best babysitter helper ever. And I've fallen even more in love with you now that I've seen you with kids and how the girls love you so much. You're great with them. I've also grown close to your pets and we have so much fun with little Eleanor, the little lizard.
Christmas time is always especially fun with you because you do things like make cookies with your little sister, my mom, and your family. And we have so much fun and we have so many laughs together. I also love you because you do things like make homemade cards instead of buy them and you always get the best and thoughtful gifts such as a guitar case for my guitar so I can carry it around and that is because you have supported me since day one of me deciding to do music therapy. Thank you for supporting my career path no matter what it takes. Thank you for being there when I had the flu and you totally could have gotten super sick, but you took care of me anyway. But here I am all better and thank you for being there to make me feel better. You're always coming up with new ways to make me laugh and smile and show how much you care for me. I hope that you get to be my Valentine the rest of my life because I don't want any other Valentine but you. And I know you had to work on your birthday, but I'm glad we still got to have fun. I don't have them. My little dog, my big dog, my big baby. Stop! Stop! I'm sorry. <laughs> we got Lucy and Nala. And we've got hockey. And we got a cute boyfriend. <laughs> this is my dream come true. I love it. Yes. <laughs> well, hello there, my darling. I hope you enjoyed that video. That is my little six year anniversary gift to you. Um, I have no idea what you have planned for the rest of the day, but I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us and for putting up with my shenanigans the last six years. So, happy six year anniversary. I love you so much and I can't wait for what we're going to do the rest of the day and for the rest of our lives. Bye. Love you. Mwah.